Warden of State of Wake. Be sure you like, share, comment, and above all else, subscribe to State of Wake, where we give you, in this case, breaking news with a Liberty View. In this video, we are going to be talking about the coup in Turkey, and I have on the phone somebody who is going to give us a little inside information about what's going on in Turkey. Give me a Cliff Notes update of what's happened in Turkey. Uh, military jets are flying over Ankara and Istanbul. The two major bridges connecting Europe with Asia Minor have been closed by tanks and soldiers. There, there was gunfire heard taking place at the police headquarters in Istanbul and Ankara. Um, and now there has been an announcement on the national television that uh, a peace council has taken over the country and will secure the safety of all citizens. That is all I have to date. Any location of Erdogan? Uh, Erdogan is, quote-unquote, on vacation. Ooh, like Dasha on vacation? Like Gorby on yeah. vacation? Yeah, yeah. Ah, okay. All right. Yeah, well, that, that is the official, the official statement of the government, is that Erdogan is on vacation, but still has control of the entire country. Yeah. Okay, well, well thank and, you. And uh, the latest... The latest now is that martial law has been declared nationwide by the military. And one of the, the leading general uh, has been taken prisoner by the leaders of the group. Now, see, that's interesting. The leading general has been taken prisoner? Correct. The that's... general who was appointed by Erdogan to run the entire military. Right. Uh, now, that, that now, you know, I think I was foreseeing the possibility of his own people turning on him. I don't know. Uh, yeah. This could actually be the old guard trying to reinstate Correct. itself. Right. Um, now, it, what's fascinating they, to me they is must that have you smelled, have... They must have smelled blood in the water. And I thought, hey, uh, his, his, his support must have, have, have suddenly went soft. For them to be able to oh, it, well, the second he capitulated to Russia, right, and and and, and Israel and Israel in essence, correct, correct, correct. Uh, and now he's trying to make nice, nice with Egypt. I mean, they're back stepping every move they've made in the last five to ten years. Uh, the the point, the one thing that I find interesting that I haven't heard anyone comment on is the fact that there are jets fighter jets overflying Ankara and Istanbul, flying low, uh, which would say that there's more than one branch of the military, because it's obviously army troops on the ground with tanks and armored personnel vehicles. And it seems and coordinated. Have... It seems like they've been planning this. This, this didn't just yeah, happen out of the blue. Now, why no, now, it... though? Why, why, what was going on in Turkey at this moment that they picked this time? Well, I think the if if Erdogan truly is on vacation and is in some you know uh, small town or village in a mountain somewhere, or if he's not in the country, it would be easy to to, to contain him. The fact that they've closed down all of the international airports is going to make it very hard him for out. him to get. They don't want him to get out. Well, they don't want certain people out, and they don't want certain people in. So if he's not in the country, they don't want him in. If he's in the country, any, any word they don't from want him Russia. Leave. Any response from Russia yet? Uh, I can only make jokes at this point. <laughs> <laughs> well, jokes are not news. Well, actually, they are. Nah. Nah, they are these days. Yeah. That'll be the well, next this... thing to watch. Watch the response from Russia and Israel. And... Well, Go ahead. the curious thing is what this military coup will do in relation to Israel and Russia at this point, and with Syria. I mean, the fact that the Turks wanted to uh, reestablish uh, ties with Syria as of like two days ago, they made the announcement. Yeah, 
they, 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 they pretty much they pretty much did about faces on everything and and this is a government that came to power basically off of uh turkish nationalism they are in essence they're turkish nazis and they betrayed their own supremacy they well, look soft and when you're a well, regime that that came to power looking like you were the defiant ones, you were the hardcore ones, you were the chosen ones to do this, man. To add, to add on top of that, that the military uh, on their national television said that uh, this government, although elected democratically, has moved the country away from democracy and away from the uh, secular democracy that Turkey had been for the bulk of the 20th century was unacceptable, and it had to be realigned with a secular, a true secular democracy. So it seems to me like uh, the the powers that be, I think, bought into the Turkish nationalism thing, and I think they got a hardcore dose of reality, and Erdogan at this point, because of everything he had done, he couldn't be the face, the voice, he couldn't be the leader of of a turkey that was going to be repentant and come back into the into the fold and the powers that be looked around and realized dude we played our hand way too hard and we don't have nearly the amount of power that we thought we had we basically got the whole world to turn against us and the only way that we can make this right i'm sorry i mean i i i i fully believe that the folks that are really behind the power that's making this move. At one point, we're behind Aragon. And they, they've, they've seen the uh, pragmatic writing on the wall. And at the end of the day, the powers that be, they want what every, every, everyone in a coercive enterprise wants, ultimately, is to enjoy the benefits of the coercive enterprise. And they weren't going to be able to enjoy the benefits of this coercive enterprise. So they had to, well, I they think had to change course. Well, the, the old Greek expression, you jump when the blade hits bone is what's going on in Turkey right now. Their economy is tanking. They, they're desperate to turn it around, and they can't. The, the tourism season, which is huge for them, has been a complete and utter bust. The Israelis stopped coming. The Russians yeah, stopped they're, coming. They're, they're not, Europe yeah, stopped the powers coming. that be are not going to be able to enjoy the windfall Correct. of their coercive enterprise, their business is, 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 is hit a wall and they have to Correct. do something to change it. Well, I'm going to let you go here. Update to this video. We also know now that Erdogan was on his way into Turkey. Uh, he was out of the country on vacation. When he went to land, the airport refused to let him land and the airplane, ironically enough, is on its way to Turkey. This is Paul Gordon Collier, and I am with State of Wake. Again, if you like this video, be sure you like, share, comment, and above all else, subscribe to State of Wake, because if you don't, we will exercise a coup on the country of you. So when you go on vacation and you try to land in yourself, you won't be able to. Food for thought.